सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओं If people that are listening want to put in the Telegram group any comments about their nakshatras and so we can also comment there. Okay. Now, um, the first karmic period of Chandra, the person will be usually the uh, favorite of the family. It's not necessarily the first. It's not necessarily the youngest. It can be anything, but when a person is born in this framework, there will be a strong tendency that the person is highly connected to one's life, uh, one's family. Okay, but you're going to say, "Oh, come on, Namaste." Uh, Krishna was not strongly um, bounded to. Uh, his um, family. Not necessarily all the times the things are going to be easy in the first period, okay? But we can see the archetype that in Vrindavana, Krishna was hugely attached to not her, not his natal mother, but uh, to his adoptive mother. And they, that was a very strong bond. Okay, people that are born in this framework, the, usually the one second up to ten years, there is going to be a strong emotional bond to family, mainly, or maybe to some place. Okay, in the case of Krishna, uh, not only Vrindavana but also Govardhana. Emotional stability is to be pivotal to one's identity, identity in this type four. Okay, that person usually will have a lot of emotions. Those emotions probably are not going to be very much stable, but this doesn't mean that they are less. Probably they are high. Okay, so uh, your brother Sahar. Do you think that he is emotional, emotional person in the sense that there is a lot of emotions or not so much? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember how he was, how it was when he was born, if he was the favorite of the family or no. But I mean, he does have his, you know, um, moments of anger, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Remember that the first karmic period is where we create some identity to our body. Okay? And the person who is born in this Chandra uh, Mahadasha, his identity will be mainly to his emotional body. Okay? My feelings tell me who am I. Tell me what you feel that I will tell you who you are. It's the kind of sentence that we're looking here. Okay? If the person ends this karmic period with 10 years old, it's kind of enough to be in the second karmic period, starting to end with 10 and finishing with 17. But see, the second karmic period can end with seven years and one second. This is still a very much challenging um, possibility. Okay, please write down. If the person is born in the end of the Chandra Mahadasha, that means that the person is born from... Just a second, I'm calculating. 
if the person is born from 20 to 23 and 20 of the moon, right? Uh, of uh, Vrishaba, Taurus, Kanya, Virgo, Makara, Capricorn. From 20 to 23, 20 of those signs, if the moon is there, the person will reach the second karmic period very early. Okay, that happens with all the uh, usually, but the third is going to be with less than year, 10 years old. And being the third karmic period with less than 10 years old is very difficult. Okay? So, the second karmic period is related to what you believe it's true. What you believe it's true in the sense that you are taught by your father, your mother, your school, your boyfriend, whatever. Okay? What do you feel what is right and wrong? Our values come mainly from what we experience in the second karmic period. Okay? And in this place, the person probably will learn or will be taught or will understand that you cannot be so... Uh, what is the expression for that in English? Melted butter. Uh, melted heart, even though you you can you maybe have that, you should not be showing that for everyone. The person will harden its emotional nature in the second karmic period, usually, or it will learn that it should do that. Okay, it's something that it's right. You can be a soft heart hearted person, but does that does not mean that you should be willing to be that. You should be trying to be uh, maneuvering or protecting or hardening that nature. Okay? This will tend to happen usually. Okay? There are some times when uh, Moon and Mars are together and that kind of break is not so intense. But just like a crab with tender interior and an armor outside, the person will try to be less sentimental, less emotion. We understand that this is how the life should go. Okay, clear that second round. Sometimes there is going to be a kind of a moving from countries, a moving from school. There can be a trauma, and the person say, "Oh, I'm not so. Uh, it's not good that I I I be so emotional to everything. I need to learn to be less." emotional, less open-hearted, less connected with uh, other emotions. This can be quite deceiving. There can be a friend that dies. There can be any kind of trauma, okay? Frustration, okay? But this frustration will be mainly a emotional frustration, not so much because the person was abused or this kind of stuff. Okay. The person will probably go through a shock, an emotional shock, and this will create a, a, a contrast of that first so soft, so lovely, and so. In the, uh, in the um, history of Krishna, this can be the moment where they start to send a lot of demons to kill him, okay? But you can say he was uh, about to uh, send uh, demons when he was just a baby and so. It can be, okay? The second karmic period we usually will have a, um, a tension, some kind of 
not necessarily violence, but tension. Clear about this second period? And then we reach what is the most important thing that we want to talk, is the third karmic period. The Rahu related, there is going to be Parara Swat Shatabishat. Okay? Now, because this can start from 7 up to 17, they start. It will end 7 plus 18 up to 25, 17 plus 18 up to 35 years. So the person can be finishing its third karmic period up to 25, up to 35 years. Okay? And that's not actually a very big problem, the, the time that is finishing. But when it's starting, it can be. Because it can be starting with just seven years old. Okay? We saw in the Keto type that uh, uh, familiar breakout and uh, some uh, killing the father of Batman and so on can also happen with Radeya. But here, the um, break in Mars spirit will tend to be more emotional break than necessarily a, a, a killing or a more radical thing, okay? But the person, it's very young, it's very uh, hormonal driven, and the person can have a lot of addictions. A lot of intoxications. That's why there is that the Wolf of Wall Street there. Even though the guy itself is not um, that uh, one of these nakshatras, I searched for that. The how the movie plays, it's under the um, scheme that we're speaking. Okay, he had a. Um, life in the beginning that it was okay and then he got married and then suddenly